I said I would get to the bottom of it, and I have. <laughs> my horror. To my despair. <laughs> to learn the witch amongst us was my own daughter. It's not me! I introduce into the record these pieces of evidence. No! First, on this day, my daughter, Ainsley Albright, no. was absent. Hello YouTube Battle Buddies, my name is Kaza Marie, and some of you know me as your friendly neighborhood LARP girl. And today we're going to talk about Ashwick Plantation LARP. For Ashwick Plantation, we were going to get off the Mayflower, head north from Plymouth Rock, and join some of our witch friends out in Salem. Hopefully that doesn't give away too much. The LARP takes place in the early 1670s and is in the colonial state of Massachusetts. In this town of Ashwick Plantation, settlers had either come off a boat, come from one of the local areas such as Boston or Plymouth, and they were asked to settle on this new land. It was fertile, ready to grow. It was a great opportunity to start a new town. Before the event, we had done some workshops to get to know each other a little bit before we started playing. This was really useful because it meant that we got to get to know each other a little bit in game but also giving us some out of game flexibility to ask each other what we wanted to do. It was a lot of fun getting to know my fellow players a little bit in game and out of game before the event started and I thought this was a great thing that Ashwick Plantation put together for us. The character that I chose to play at Ashwick Plantation LARP was Mercy Hayes. I played the daughter of a colonial English settler and an Algonquin Native American. I have ancestral history with Native American tribes in the Quebec area. A lot of history has been lost from my family because of indigenous children being removed from their homes. A lot of my family's history and origin for where my name came from has been lost. That means we don't have a lot of information on where to go from, but I hope that one day we will. For me, creating a LARP character is something very personal. It's something that I pull from myself, and it's something that I try to insert one thing about me that I want to work on. I always try to add something into my character history that is personal for me, something I can work out, something that challenges me both in-game and out-of-game. I wanted to learn a little bit more about the Native people from the area that I come from. In doing so, I hope that it would give me a connection for some of my roots. To me, it's really important to have a takeaway after a LARP event, have something that I've learned and can share with my friends, have something that is important to me, something that I've grown off of, something that just is just a takeaway. I really enjoy LARP as a form of art to expand my creativity, but I also see the benefits that it has as recreational therapy, and I encourage others to do the same. As we entered the town, people wanted to know who we were. They wanted to know who I was. We wanted to know who they were. It was a brand new town and they were looking for people to fill jobs and we were the hands that would do it. <laughs> After the players and I introduced ourselves to the NPCs, they quickly put us to work, which I loved. Throughout the LARP, they had different stations where you could do physical activities, uh, you could do puzzles, you could just do some work that would help kill time, but it also helped the colony. You were rewarded by doing this, by getting information about what was going on throughout town, but also you would get some in-game currency. So the test is very simple. Um, uh, you take some earth and fill the pods, and then you take um, whatever seeds you would like to grow. We have a few different types. Um, plant them and then um, water them. More than one, um, because sometimes the seeds don't take. Okay. So it's important to apply at least three or so in each. And this is so unique. I've never come to a town where I was easily put to test, <laughs> and I appreciate it. Um, so before this, um, my husband and I lived in Plymouth, but mm. we came and built this little cottage, and um, he took to, to gardening, and um, I certainly helped out, but since he's been at sea, I've really taken over those responsibilities. Thank you. Yes! After talking to some of the locals, I found out that some of the things that had gone on in the town was that 
the local militia was missing and they needed new people to join. I quickly volunteered. My character Mercy was looking for her father. If that meant that she had to stay in this town for a little longer, she was going to do her very best to serve the people and serve herself, which meant that as one of the only people with a musket, she had to stand to join the militia. At least myself and her believed that it would probably be best for her to join the militia. <laughs> Load guns! And fall back means yours already loaded. We leap, we, we fall back as orderly and or quick as necessary. Now, if the sergeant is up skirmishing, I will give orders. Try not to shoot them if they are in front of you. So let's do uh, full volley. Full volley on the sergeant's order. Ready, aim, fire. You got closest. All right, reload. Very nice. Thank you. For this was also something that was challenging for me. I recently came back from a political protest about uh, gun safety and advocating that we need to have stronger gun control. It was very weird for me to play a character that had a rifle. I spent time advocating for stronger restrictions on our gun control laws here in the United States, and a lot of those laws were inspired by the acts that were happening during the time period we were playing in at Ashwick Plantation. I got to feel why those laws were there, and it was crazy. <laughs> If I learned anything, it's that boy, times have changed. One of the reasons I chose to take on the musket is because I liked the immersive roleplay that it encouraged. Now, what I mean by that is that to be able to shoot off your musket, you had to spend time loading the musket and then also putting a powder inside so that when you blew it, it looked like a shot. As one of the local militia members, I took it upon myself to survey the land. I took a moment to walk around the plantation to see if there was anything else worth taking a look at. I wanted to learn more about why Mercy's father would invite her to come here. And this walk was absolutely terrifying. The sun was out, the wind was whispering, and the trees were creaking. As I began to follow the trail, I found blood. splashed about everywhere and it's on this rock as if it was used to bash something's head open and then there's a splat right here this wasn't just a deer and it wasn't just the militia men looks like something terrible happened maybe it's witchcraft there's blood everywhere some had worried this was the blood of the local militia, others said perhaps this was a massacre that happened by some of the locals. It was unclear, but it did lead us to uncover some information that was quite troubling. The colonists kept warning us about witchcraft. holy and occult things we are about to see and whatever powers they still hold over these objects. Amen. 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 Uh. And our most recent suspicion is that some rearrangement of these letters may also reveal a phrase, but uh, that may pattern. just be our that may just be our hope that there is enough here for us to begin to unravel what's going on. Do you hear the bell? I hope that means bread and water. After my discovery in the woods, we had a very nice lunch. We took some time to relax and enjoy the sun and enjoy the refreshments. Uh, 
Yes, 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 please, please help yourselves. Yeah, this is uh, a, a nice plowman's lunch for, for all the hardworking folks today. These people might find that they just want a little bit of switchel and then a lot of water in it. Uh, different people like their different strengths. Mm -hmm. Uh, is there something I could be working on for you right now? Anything that the militia... Uh, they're, they're discussing some possible threats to the town. There uh, appears to be a large Danish force on its way. Mm -hmm. After that, we kind of settled in for the evening. We finished what other chores need to be done, and we relaxed by the fire. Goop that we saw down near the mine. Uh, oh, God. It's some sort of uh, vomit or maybe a... A scat from some sort of creature, maybe. Oh, same goop. There was a little girl that had assisted with taking care of us throughout the day, and there was a young woman who had become Mercy's friend, and it was really great getting to know both of them. The young girl had lost her mother, and then as night came, we found out she lost her father. Once it had come out that her father had been missing, we followed a blood trail that led to something unlike anything my character had ever seen before. It was terrifying, unnatural, and I don't know why I was standing there. Emily! 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 Look at me! Look at me! What's happening in here? There's something God in here. is great. God is all-powerful. That is not your fault. It's just it's not your fault. I don't know. There are Eventually we were chased out of that place. A terrible monster that had possibly been the girl's father chased us out and back to the plantation. We thought that now that we had seen some witchcraft, perhaps we could get some rest. We settled down and ate some s'mores. I'm just saying that if anybody has any s'mores at a LARP, regardless of whatever the setting is, you can bet I will be sitting there waiting patiently and, and helping. I will make that fire for you. If you have s'mores, let me know. I'm in. I can't even eat that many s'mores. I, one is good enough for me, but they just create a camaraderie and they give us an ability to kind of let our guards down and have some enjoyment during those those tough roleplay situations. So thank you to the people who bring s'mores. You are the true heroes of LARP. <laughs> As the fire began to settle, we heard cries come from the woods. We heard screams come from the woods. We heard a drum beat come from the woods. It was terrifying. The moon was full and the stars were bright. I could see everything. And I saw a new friend being dragged up the road. She had been caught and accused of witchcraft. Mercy and this young woman had spent the whole day together talking about their dreams, their hopes, and how happy they were that the plantation was doing well and that nature was alive with spring and it was so beautiful and to see her be pulled into this situation was, was pretty hard. It felt very personal. It felt like it could have been mercy. Spirit of nauseous immateria, be gone hence, for as God 
Manifold be his blessings, watches over me, so shall I not fear the shadow. I said I would get to the bottom of it, and I have. <laughs> to my horror. To my despair. <laughs> to learn the witch amongst us was my own daughter. <laughs> I introduce into the record these pieces of evidence. First, on this day, my daughter, Ainsley Albright, no. was absent from school. I went to prepare lunch for the newcomers, it wasn't me! During this time, she conducted a satanic ritual no! in the graveyard involving carved human skulls and an animal sacrifice. I didn't do this! I promise! On this afternoon, <laughs> she did trace satanic no! glyphs into the sand at the river. I didn't leave those there! Causing the shipwreck and the deaths of those sailors. Those poor innocent souls. And finally, and most conclusively, on this very evening, both myself and Unis observed a witch's summit in these very woods. Four figures dancing in a circle calling to heathen gods for unworldly power. They scattered as we approached, and we caught one and only one of them. My daughter. Oh, I did it! But I meant to protect you! I meant to protect you! I didn't want to hurt anybody! God can. You have confessed. You can save your soul, if not your life. stood for, it was still hard to watch her go. The words that she said, it moved us all. 
I had a great time at Ashwick Plantation. I am definitely someone who is scared of the horror genre. I was very scared and I was very willing to die at this LARP. They had a really cool mechanic where you had to go to the local church to be resurrected and I wanted to be a strong fighter with my musket and really put my life on the line for others. But I am just a big scaredy cat and every time I went to confront a monster I generally ran in the same direction I came from because they were terrifying. Ashford Plantation did a really great job with their horror genre themes and I really appreciate all the effort that they put in. I hope you found something in this video that's useful. Leave your comments below to let me know what you enjoyed so I can include more of that information into my next video. If you'd like to become a part of the creative process for the LARP Girl channel, visit my Patreon. Thank you to the lovely people of Patreon who are continuing to uplift this channel. Without you, we wouldn't be here. Once you've left your comments below, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I release videos as regularly as I can. Every time I go to a LARP event, I try to produce amazing content for you so that you can get interested in LARP, feel inspired, or you can just live vicariously through me, which I don't mind, but I'd really like to see you out there with me. So anything I can do to make LARP easier for you, I want to do it. I'm looking forward to going on many more adventures, and I am happy to take you with me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on the battlefield. Like a book that we open and flip through the pages, we become the characters in the story. The GMs, or the event runners that are organizing the LARP, will have an outline, and we engage with that outline, we engage with those stories, and we become the storytellers. Together, LARP is a really fun way to explore new settings, challenge yourself to find new things that you're capable of, and also have a lot of fun. I've learned a lot from live action roleplay, and I hope that this video inspires you to join in on all the fun as well. <laughs>